Now, I don't expect this to be a usual thing, but I figured, look, last week's look at what I got in the mail did pretty decently view-wise, and, well, I say last week it's in, because that's when it was released to me. It was probably released a few weeks ago for you guys. But I wanted to do another one uh, for a new selection of stuff I've got, because every now and again, you know, I'll order a bunch of stuff from Zavi or get some stuff at JB, and suddenly, you know, i got a bunch of stuff coming in the mail. It's that kind of deal. So I figured, look, I have, what, two, four, six, eight different items that came in the mail, and I know that next week, for me, I'm going to be getting a lot more, but that will be a whole video of itself. <laughs> so, I've currently got eight, I've got two more things that I'm expecting, uh, plus, you know, other stuff that's coming out, like the Battle Royale 4K set and stuff like that, but that won't come for another two to three weeks. So, I'll do a video on that when that comes in. Uh, but I figured, though this isn't as prestigious as the Shaun of the Dead video or, you know, the Blade Runner Mondo and stuff, I do have some pretty neat stuff, including some Criterion, some 4K, some Steelbooks, so let's check it out. First off, I'm going to start with a more interesting one that I bought. I got this from Zavi. It had initially sold out from Zavi uh, in its first run, uh, but I figured, look... It's a really nice design, and despite the fact that I've ordered the Play Archive version, which has the same design on the outside, with a different steelbook, of course, I figured this steelbook would be nice on its own. So I got the Parasite steelbook. Uh, this is one of two steelbooks I now own for Parasite, the other one being the 4K and black and white version, whereas this is just the standard version and black and white version. Uh, most people are probably accustomed to this artwork. Uh, it's very nice as an overall, of course, it's metallic, it's very glossy, it is very reflective as well, and of course its spine, uh, as you can somewhat see there, does highlight Parasite backwards with uh, just the regular Curzon insides. Nothing in particular importance on the inside, but still, nevertheless, I think it's because it was like, it's like $30 or something, it was really... A lot cheaper and given how people were like still advertising on eBay for like a hundred bucks because it had sold out in its initial run and it hadn't gotten the refill uh, fill, and they hadn't even showcased there was no ad saying hey look this Parasite still book that everyone's going mental for is now available again it just happened to be reproduced again like you know several months later I think this may, may have been a year later so yeah I figured that, that was a nice uh, addition. I do, yes, have the plain icon version with this exact outward artwork coming in. It does that one does look different enough, which I found some videos on, which was nice. Uh, and of course, just in case my plain archive one doesn't ever come in, given if you don't know, uh, posting to Australia from Korea right now is uh, not very easy um, because of the pandemic. So I don't know if I'll ever get mine. Um, it might be shipped by boat. We will find out in several months' time. <laughs> So stay tuned for that. Or or don't. I wouldn't. I'd just leave it. Uh, I do plan to get a protector for it soon. I've ordered a bunch to come in the mail soon. I might have to order more because I do have a big, big um, order coming in very soon. So that'll be a big video. You'll know what it is when you see it. So if you have not subscribed and you like steelbooks and you like really rare steelbooks, subscribe. Next up, we have a Criterion. Uh, this was, I, in my last video, my previous one, I was talking, well not my last video, my last video on this kind of topic of buying movies, uh, I had bought Holiday and The Heiress. This is one of the other two that I had ordered. This is The Sword of Doom. Uh, it is a, uh, is it Kihachi? Yeah, Kihachi Okamoto film. It's the Region B version. It's a just a high definition uh, restoration. Yeah, I, I look. It's got t uh, Toshiro Mif uh, Mifune or Mifun. I don't really know how to pronounce his name. So it's got some people I know. It's like a two-hour-long Japanese samurai film. Got a really neat cover, and I think it look as well as coming with a booklet as well, which is actually a one of those classic poster essays that they've got. Um, I felt like. This would be something interesting to get, and I've been wanting, I've been eyeing it for a while. So the fact that I was able to get it in a wow, well, it actually does fold up, doesn't it? Wow, look at that! I like the orange and black. It's a good contrast. Nice packaging design overall. 
Uh, I've been wanting to get this for a while. I don't really know much about it, but I, I like samurai films. So it's just, for me, it was a how could I pass this up kind of deal, you know? You know, so it is what it is. I bought it, and now we'll go into our next purchase. Uh, the next one I got is actually directly from China. This is the Grand Master. Uh, if you are aware of Ip Man or Wong Kar Wai, this is Wong Kar Wai's film about the Ip Man. This is a really, really interesting film as it goes. This is actually, yes, the long version. The 130 minute version which you could only get from China. I got it for 26 bucks, like Australian dollars, on eBay. Uh, direct from China. And it, it came decently packaged as well, like it was all still packaged quite nicely. And even the disc itself had plastic around it, like just a sleeve, so you could still take it off, but just so it would protect it from any scratches or damaging in case it popped out. So they strangely took a lot of care into it, just despite the small price. Uh, but yeah, so it comes with this really nicely textured, like even got some like debossing, embossing? I think embossing, yeah. Uh, some embossing uh, there on the front cover, which is also has some nice design to it. It does say even like full, full feature version. Um, it actually opens up as well, so you've got the exact same image on the inside, but then you've got some you've got some Chinese text and one of your main characters there. Uh, I think that's just a summary of the film, whilst also giving you some specs and details. Um, but you also do have it all on the back as well. So there's, that's, it's a, it looks a bit bootleggy, but it's just because the texture of it makes the, uh, image quite weird to read, in a way. It's, if you can kind of tell by that, I don't really think you can. But yeah, in case you're interested, it is all regions. Um, it is 130 minutes long, it comes with Cantonese DTS HD 7.1, Mandarin DTS HD 7.1, and Thai DDS1. Uh, it comes with subtitles for traditional Chinese, simplified Chinese, English, and Thai, as well as a making of trailer, posters, and a photo gallery. So, if you like Wong Kar Wai films, and this is a very, very interesting Wong Kar Wai film, I do have, I have all of the Criterion set, but that's a, the British release, so it won't come in for another couple of months. But um, uh, he's made some really good films, and this is this is it's actually slim as well. But yeah, this is the Grandmaster. It's Again, it's the same on the outside, uh, despite the slip, uh, and yeah, comes with that. So it's it's a it's a good it's a good package, I think. I'm actually yet to still test it out to see if it works. It's weird how it comes in a package uh, that has both sides, so you can plug it into either side, which is really interesting. Wow, and it's black on the base. That's really weird. Um, if I if I I will test it out because I haven't watched it yet. I'm pretty sure it's legit. If it isn't, I will be putting in an annotation here. If there is no annotation on screen, then yes, it is legit, and it was a wonderful joy to watch. I probably won't actually rewatch it anytime soon. I just watched it for the first time like a month ago, so, you know, it is what it is. Next, we have a very special, very interesting film that I have yet to watch, of course. I haven't watched... Okay, I've watched Parasite and, and uh, The Grandmaster. Uh, this one I haven't watched. But I got it because uh, I've heard a lot about Andre, 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 Andre. I don't actually. I've never pronounced his first name before. But Tarkovsky. This is Ivan's childhood. The Region B Criterion release. Uh, it is just a high definition digital restoration, a 1962 film. I believe it's his first film. I actually think it says that on the on the back. Yeah, debut feature. Um. I wanted to get it because I've got two of these other films already, which are already quite good. I, I have Solaris and uh, Stalker. I don't know why I just made that noise with my mouth, but you get the gist. Um, so yeah, I wanted to get this just because I'm, I'm wanting to get more into Tarkovsky's work, and a lot of people love Tarkovsky, and I can see why, just having... A, fuck, I've only seen Stalker, haven't I? I haven't even seen Solaris. I haven't. I get around to it eventually. It's one of those films where I feel like I need to be in a particular mindset. Um, but this one also included, but it has very nice artwork. It's the Region B version, so I'm very, very keen, very interested to watch it. Uh, if you are a fan of Tarkovsky's work, suggest some films of his. I'll see if the they have good Blu-ray releases, and I'll check them out. Uh, 
Next, I got a film that should have won the uh, best animated feature, but lost to Zootopia because Disney owns the Oscars, and it also was apparently nominated for best. Uh, anime feature at the Golden Globes as well. Uh, the fact that it didn't win is uh, beyond me. This is a film that my girlfriend and I watched on Netflix. She really wanted to watch it, uh, but we watched the English the English dub because it is a stop motion animated film. And in the English, it is called My Life as a Zucchini. This version is My Life as a Courgette. It is French. Uh, this is the Blu-ray that I got from Zavi. Uh, it actually comes with the. It's only. It's like sixty-seven minutes long. It's not a long film at all. You can probably you can watch it on Netflix, whatever. But I don't know if they have the French version on Netflix. The uh, uh, the English American version is actually still really good though. It has a really good voice cast. Uh, and it's still really well acted, so I would still suggest it. But I wanted to check out the French version as well, and luckily this actually comes with both French and uh, English versions, which is really nice. So, um, yeah, of course, French with English subtitles as well. Uh, but it comes with a bunch of bonus features, including an introduction by Peter Lord, um, the making of Life as a Courgette. Uh, I think it's Courget, still. Courget audition footage, Courget, you're a star, and Festival... Dun, 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 Great, I cannot pronounce French words. Um, into Film Animation Workshop and Trailers. Uh, it's a very cute film, also quite dark, but has some really interesting subject matter, especially because it is arguably a kid's, like, directed for kids, but I wholeheartedly would recommend it. It's even one that, it's a, one of those ones that has some definitely, you know, strong themes that a kid would benefit from learning about, because, you know, death and stuff like that, it's, uh, yeah, dark shit, but good, it's a very good film, and it's also very cutely animated, I mean, like, look at how they look, they look, look at him, look at them, anyway, uh, so I bought that for my girlfriend, so I'll be giving that to her when I see her next, in a couple of days, um, yeah, so it's not actually mine, <clears throat> that's alright, Look, she's the one who wanted it. I, 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 I was happy to just watch it on Netflix, but I'm also interested to watch the French version, which I did eyefully look out for. Next up, we have a two... We've got two of four Arrow video films. Uh, two more coming in. Hopefully, I'll add that as an extra clip to this video uh, later on. If not, I got Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, and Oni Baba. But this one is George A. Romero's Season of the Witch. Uh, this is quite an interesting sounding film. I like witch films. I used to hate them, weirdly enough. Anyway, um, it's one of his more different films to stuff like, you know, the Night of the Living Dead and whatever, but uh, it obviously was filmed as a different type of film and then retitled as a different type of film, and then advertises as sexploitation, all this kind of stuff, so this is a 4K restoration of the original theatrical release, and an alternate uh, extended version, which goes for 15 minutes longer, or 14 minutes longer. Uh, a bunch of behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, it's all regions. Um, yeah, I'm... It does, of course, come with your alternate artwork as well, because it is a Arrow release, so you've got that as well. Uh... I kind of like the whiter looking artwork for some reason. I just think it works nicely. It's I'm interested to watch it. I kind of like, I think it's more of a character study rather than being like, oh, which is too weird shit. So that's uh, up my alley. Okay. I was going to do this one last, but I figure I'll do it now. Uh, one that I'm really keen on that I was actually trying to get a, I was trying to get a, the Blue Fan Steelbook for it, uh, which I bid up to a hundred bucks on eBay. And for some, somehow, it uh, it sold out eight hundred dollars. Um, I think it's probably one of those sellers who just, you know, uh, bids a thousand dollars and sees how it goes. And uh, someone just kept bidding up, and realized, wow, this person's bidding. This person's bid more than five hundred and six hundred, seven hundred bucks, and then it got to eight hundred and ten dollars. And even I was like, holy shit, that's a lot of money for one steel book, um, which arguably should not be worth that much. But okay then. No, nevertheless, I got the cheaper equivalent. I'd ordered this ages ago from Zavi. This is Godzilla, the 2014 film. Uh, I actually like this design for the steelbook. 
and I think it is really fucking cool. I'd obviously prefer the blue fans version, but this is still a nice, like, matte finish. Um, still has some nice reflective nature to it, and then you can wrap around artwork on the inner spine and whatever. Uh, but it does come with, which is what I really wanted. Uh, that took, that was really hard to open. Um, it does come with the 4K UHD baby. That is what I wanted. Uh, I actually really like this film. I did not care for it the first time I watched it. Breaking Bad fan. Um, but I grew up watching Godzilla, so there was that as well. And, yeah, I, I've, after rewatching it late last year, I really dug it. Um, I'm keen to rewatch all of the MonsterVerse films as it goes, because uh, I really like Kong Skull Island, and I don't mind King of the Monsters. I've only seen it once in theaters in Japan, and I really liked it then, but I liked it because it was giant monster fights. Um... <laughs> so, I will hopefully be rewatching all of them once Godzilla vs. Kong comes out as a 4K steelbook, maybe? I really liked Kong vs. Godzilla, so Godzilla vs. Kong, however you put it. So, uh, yeah, I'm interested to watch them, but I also want to watch all of the Godzilla films, because I haven't watched a lot of them. I have all of them, uh, but I haven't watched every single one of them yet, so I plan to rewatch the ones I have watched and watch the rest, so I might be doing a series on that, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, because I was going to do a, like, show era, like, a come and relax talk kind of thing, where I'd watch, uh, like, the first volume of the show era, then the second volume, then the High C, then, or High C, then the Millennium, then Shin Godzilla, then, uh, all the American versions, which I would pin on the Monsterverse, but because that also inv involves Godzilla 98, which is quite terrible with the film, despite me having the 4K UHD. Um, look, I love Godzilla. Um, yeah, I don't know how I plan to pull it, to pull it off yet. So, uh, you probably won't have any suggestions. But if you do, feel free to comment down below how you'd prefer to see it. Because I don't want to do individual film reviews for it. Because that doesn't interest me, per se. Because um, it's like, how do I want to put it as? Do I want to put it as a... I need an excuse to watch all of these films and make content out of it because obviously it hinders me from making any other video talking about films. Or do I want to do something else and like do individual film reviews so I don't have to pressure myself to, you know, watch a whole bunch in a go, then do, you know, then make one big video. But I kind of like doing that, so I might do that. Yeah, I might do a calm, relaxed talk. At least it's a series I've already started and whatever. And this, they are mostly action films. So... There is that element to it. I'd like to go over them. I've got the whole, you know, the show era as the criterion, so I'd like to rewatch them and watch the ones I haven't seen. I don't know if I really want to rewatch the ones I have watched though, like because I watched Godzilla nineteen fifty four last year, plus um, the Godzilla vs Kong. No, not last year, but two years ago. So I don't know if I want to rewatch them. I might though. I probably will. I kind of should. I should. I've done reviews on them, but I probably should watch them. Um, last but not least, sorry, I got on a tangent there. Uh, last but not least is Bean John Malkovich. Beautiful artwork. I was going to get the Criterion release, but I did get the Arrow Academy. Uh, it weirdly is kind of pressed along here. I don't know if you can kind of get that. By the lighting, it, it's as if it's like moistened up and whatever. The plastic's kind of gone weird and funky. But still, uh, it's got a cool booklet. It's got some, obviously... Uh, alternative artwork and shit, which is like the main theatrical poster. But I really like the new artwork that they that they did for this, and yeah, I think it's I think this is a really nice film. I it was my first Charlie Kaufman film, despite it being directed by Spike Jones. So I've watched a lot of his films. I really like him as a film writer. Yeah, he's an okay director. Um, but yeah, I hope to get all of the rest of his films, but I have the majority except for the one that was released on Netflix, obviously, because Netflix don't really do physical releases. Um, and what was the other one? Uh, Synecdoche in New York. I saw it once on like a streaming service last year or the year before. Really interesting film. 
I'd like to, to it's one I definitely would be interested in. all of these are interesting ones that I'd like to rewatch again which I've done mostly last year I watched a ton of Charlie Kaufman films so yeah I had the DVD but this was in the sale um, with a lot of the other films so I figured look there's no harm or foul in me spending the extra to get it so I did that it was literally a comparison of I think it was like get this steel book for Elvira or no, 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 no. It was, it was get. I was thinking again the steelbook for Avira, but I decided to just get the the regular Blu-ray because it was cheaper. It was the um, perspective of should I buy uh, Oni Baba from like South Australia for like thirty five bucks, or spend like twenty bucks more and get four films. <laughs> so I did that instead. Uh, so obviously they all come separately. I hate that about Zavi. It's the most annoying thing about them. How how they just it's like look I ordered six things in one go you have it all in stock just put in a box and ship it why does it have to be so hard every other company can manage it it's just a waste of paper and plastic so yeah anyway that's the current list next week or the next big video like this will be coming very soon it is very big uh, it it's kind of insane so. Yeah, I don't even expect that you'll be at this point of the video, so if you are, thank you. Thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe for more, especially that new video coming out, which cost me a lot of money. Holy shit. See you soon. Adios.